if anyone here plays a musical instrument, uh, you can probably relate to the following, and if you don't, I still hope you do. Um, when you are learning to play an instrument, in the beginning, you sound great. You're gonna be like, wow, this is me making music. And then when you invest more time and effort, you're gonna be less and less impressed with the result. And at a certain point, you can only focus on your shortcomings and you forget about all your achievements. And by the time we reach a professional level, we are experts at knowing what could or should be better. Well, I'm a musician and a composer, and like most songwriters, I have a shoebox full of uncompleted songs and ideas. And that was the inspiration uh, for a show that I organize uh, every first Sunday of the month in a venue called Toomler in Amsterdam. It's called the Onvoltooide Zondagmiddag, which translates into the uh, uncompleted Sunday afternoon. And I invite uh, singers, songwriters, and other artists, some famous names with big careers, and some young talents, some old talents, to bring the unfinished works from their shoeboxes to the stage and share them with an audience. And it's so wonderful to see what happens if people expose their imperfection to the audience. It's so nice for themselves and for the audience to see what is really going on in the process. And from this event and talking to their artists, I learned a few things that I like to share with you. The first is, as we create works of art, we actually strive to uh, impress ourselves. And if you think of it, that's quite hard because it means that you have to come up with an idea that you didn't expect. You have to be like, oh, I didn't know I had it in me. And that's, that's usually not gonna happen because the ideas come from within you unless you're like, make a mistake and you're like, oh, nice mistake. But there's only 88 keys on the piano, so there's only 80, 88 mistakes you can make. And then at some point, as you become more and more skilled, you're less likely to impress yourself. But the fact is that you, the audience, if you are gonna be impressed, it's probably from, for entirely different reasons. The, s the second thing is that the ideas that we have in these boxes, in these shoe boxes, are not necessarily bad ideas. On the contrary, it's the good ideas that bring out the perfectionists in ourselves. There's another thing that's really, uh, you find a lot in those box boxes, and that's really personal ideas, like the uh, a, a very good example is the breakup songs. I, I've spoken to many songwriters who have unfinished breakup songs. And if you think of it, that's not so strange because um, if you just come out of a breakup and you feel really overwhelmed by all the emotions, um, and, and you're, uh, you're a songwriter, so you think like, okay, let's write a song about it. 
make something beautiful out of it. But you want to be true to the fact. So you're not going to make her brown eyes blue because it fits the song better. And there's a second thing, and that's it's very hard to tell a story when your perspective is being in the middle of it. So uh, there are many beautiful, unfinished breakup songs stacked in shoeboxes in this country and all probably all over the world. And there's the third thing that I like to share with you, which is uh, probably the most important and beautiful lesson. We have this ideal of who we want to be. We want to project this perfect image of ourselves, of someone who can just speak from his head in a foreign language without making any mistakes. And uh, we want to be perfect. We really like others to believe that we are. If we just want to show our strength and hide our shortcomings, we might end up hiding a very big part of ourselves and probably the most interesting part of who we are. We don't have to. You're not really in interested in just seeing the perfection. You are interested in seeing a human being, someone that you can relate to. And I think this uh, holds true not only for musicians, but for almost everyone. Uh, Imperfection is not a failure. It's a virtue. It allows us to connect to other people. And it allows us to take advantage of the skills, the talent, and the life we have. Thank you.